Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Live, right? Another Ferlici Friday on a not very sunny Friday, but the day after Thanksgiving. I hope you guys all had a fabulous Thanksgiving day with family, friends. Hopefully, I, I always say relaxing. Like, I always think there's going to be a lot more relaxing. There's some, but like after you eat, all I want to do is take a nap, right? So I guess that's very relaxing, right? So hello, Philomena. Happy after Thanksgiving day today. So yes, like hopefully long weekend too. Is everybody able to... Um, kind of just relax and enjoy the weekend as well. Hello, Debbie, or maybe you guys have already been out like shopping, Black Friday shopping. I have never gotten up early like that and done that before. Um, I guess I, I'm always like, I don't know that there's ever been anything that I've needed that badly that I had to get up um, at the crack of dawn or go stand in line out in the super cold. <laughs> that is not my idea of fun, let me tell you. So yes, Debbie watching from Southwest Michigan. Hopefully it's beautiful, fabulous day down in your area as well. So yeah, and we have the big football game this weekend. I got my t-shirt on, I'm all ready to go. Uh, this, it's funny, I was talking to um, a friend of mine has two daughters that are in school in Ann Arbor at U of M right now. And the one friend's the daughter was saying, um, yeah, you know, she's she kind of has this feeling like, you know, if any year could be the year, maybe this is the year that we'll beat Ohio State. So I'm like, I'm going with it. Madeline, I love your like thought, your sentiment, your um, just your positivity. So I'm like, okay, because I didn't realize it's been like 11 years, I think, since uh, Michigan has beaten Ohio State. And like, that's a really long time. I had no idea it had been that long. So anyway, I've got my maize and blue on. I'm ready to go. I think I'm going to be wearing it all weekend long. Even if things don't go well tomorrow, I still wear my maize and blue with pride, but oh my gosh, wouldn't that be amazing? Although I tell you what, after the Michigan State, Ohio State game last weekend, it makes me a little bit nervous. So we'll see. Anyway, but I don't know if anybody else, um, if you guys are football fans, but this is definitely a great uh, weekend for college football and basketball as well. There's just so much good sports on. If you don't want to leave the house, you don't have to. So, all right. And we got have some awesome, we are going to play with, this is, this is like, it's not, it's not beautiful, but it's so fun. I gave this away a couple of weeks ago on Facebook Live. It is the well-defined stamp set. This is what we're going to play with today. And after I read all the sentiments, I was like, these are so fun. Okay. So I'm going to read them to you guys again, right? We've got holiday. And then the definition of holiday is a reason Reason to eat more, which we probably all did that yesterday, right? There's just a great two from, and they're bigger too. A lot of times they're teeny tiny and I don't write very small. So I like those bigger two froms. Then we've got gratitude, the feeling in my heart when I think about you. That's awesome, right? Halloween, this is a cute one. When taking candy from strangers is good and dressing normally is strange. That one's fun. And then let's see, Christmas, the time of year where the presence of family is better than the presence from family. A nice little word twist there, right? Uh, winter, when it's cold outside, but thoughts of you still keep me warm. So such a fun stamp set. Hello, Deb, happy Thanksgiving. Yes, they are cute sayings, aren't they? So a little bit different, right? I'm sure you don't find these in like Webster's Dictionary, these, um, these definitions, but I thought they were kind of fun. So I decided I've got to use this stamp set and I've kind of, I've been wanting to for a while. So we have some fun cards that we're gonna share with you in just a little bit. We're gonna do some fun stamping with that well-defined stamp set, okay? So let's see, in the meantime, what do we have going on? Well, the starter kit deal, you guys still have, what is today? Oh, I know it, it ends on Tuesday the 30th. I don't even know the dates anymore, right? But we've got today's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. You have five days left to get the starter kit deal. If you have been thinking about it, don't wait any longer. You only have five days left. So the awesome thing is it's such a a good deal you basically it's like so cheap you only pay $75 plus sales tax so in Michigan if you're or anywhere if you're a 6% sales tax state you pay $79.50 and you get to pick $125 in product that's like 
an awesome Black Friday deal right there. I would say it's like almost half off. So think about it if you haven't already, or if you have been, just get on it and get that starter kit. Pick out your $125. The only thing is you can't go over. They don't let you pay the difference. So you have to get, you gotta figure your math, right? Get as close to $125 without going over. And then you pay only $75 plus sales tax. The shipping fee is waived. Plus they send you, um, awesome, like they call them business supplies, but basically they're catalogs, um, like a couple of different sets of catalogs. I'm thinking that still right now you probably get annual catalogs and our July to December mini holiday catalog. Um, <clears throat> you also get, um, oh, a pen. You get an awesome Stampin' Up! pen and then this really beautiful folder too that I'm like, oh, I just wanna like use this folder. As I'm thinking about that, I'm like, oh, to keep like college info in? I don't know, I always have so many papers. So um, lots of beautiful folders. Um, there's info um, about like hostess, um, coaching and that sort of thing. If you want to have a party or a class, kind of gives you kind of a breakdown of um, what to do to kind of be prepared for your class or your party. So I'm trying to, oh, you got a paper pumpkin kit in there too. I forget about that. You always get a free paper pumpkin kit. And hello, Kay, thanks for joining us from North Carolina. Yay. It's good. Hopefully it's like warmer down there, right? Than it is for us. It's, it's pretty darn cold up here. So yeah, if you guys have any interest, let me know. Plus you become a part of our Inspired Stampers group, which is an awesome group of ladies. Um, just wonderful, beautiful women um, that all share a love of creativity together. So if you have any interest, we'd love to have you become a part of our group. And I'm seeing some shares on too. Thank you guys very much for sharing this Facebook Live video. I appreciate that. Um, so maybe with that being said, we'll jump right into our first drawing. We are giving away the holiday rhinestones on today's Facebook Live. We have these beautiful, love these rhinestones, which I think they're still on back order. That is something also too, I will mention, um, this is a change and I'm sure it's because of kind of all of the delays with shipping and obviously with the holidays um, happening basically right now, you know, shipping gets even crazier, right? And we've all heard about all of that kind of happening. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, so Stampin' Up! has changed the way they're going to be doing things for back orders. Basically, what they all they have always done is, um, so for example, the holiday rhinestones, if these are on back order, they'll let the inventory get to a certain level in terms of back orders and they'll just keep taking the order and your payment and then as soon as the holiday rhinestones come in, then they ship them separately. So they have incurred I'm sure huge amounts of additional shipping costs to get these back order items shipped out to either the demonstrator or individual orders, right? So what they've decided to do is basically once the inventory is depleted, say of holiday rhinestones, instead of being able to order it and it being on back order and shipping it separately, it's just gonna become not orderable. So basically you can't even kind of get your name in the queue so when they come in again, you can get them shipped to you. You just kind of have to keep checking back or as a demonstrator, I just have kind of a list of things that I know I'm gonna to need to order for people. So you know, if somebody wants to order something, I'll let them know, okay, can't order it right now, as soon as I can, I'll get it ordered for you. Um, so you guys don't have to keep kind of checking in on that. So of thing that'll be a good thing for your demonstrator to help you out with so i would love for you to pick me as your demonstrator and then i can make sure to get those items that are not orderable i'll get them ordered for you as soon as i can so anyway i don't I kind of jumped off onto that tangent but i knew that for a while and maybe still these are on back order but it changes that's december 1st it changes so right now if you um don't win these holiday rhinestones in our drawing and you really want them you can order them They'll probably be on back order and they'll just gonna ship um, as soon as they come back in. So that's a bummer, Deb. I wonder if it's your internet because I know that you've said that before that it cuts in and out. Hopefully it's not everybody. Let me know if, if others are having problems too. Although I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I should be looking into my internet if, if everyone is having a problem. Let me know because I think there's new fast internet in Alma. Basically, I've been seeing lots of trucks and like they're digging on every street corner and I don't know. Anyway, so there's been lots of advertising about new faster internet, so maybe I'll have to look into it if we're having a problem. But in the meantime, we are gonna draw for the holiday rhinestones. So I'm like shaking, shaking the names around here. I've got your name in here if you shared last Friday's Facebook Live video or if you're new to me and have signed up for my email list, your name is in the drawing. Okay, so one lucky winner 
Let's see. Who is the lucky winner? I have one name in my hand, Miss Mary Ann McGinnis. Congratulations, Mary Ann. You are the proud new owner of a package of holiday rhinestones. Perfect timing for your holiday projects, right? So congratulations, Mary Ann. I will get those um, holiday rhinestones shipped out to you. So on our next Facebook Live, which is gonna be two weeks from today. I think I mentioned um, next Friday, Lily and I are going to Chicago. I have a, one of my good friends from college, actually from way back from when I was in Ann Arbor and we worked at an ice cream store together called Stucci's. We used to scoop a lot of ice cream. And the best part about our jobs was after every shift, and we would work like three or four hours, it wasn't like we had super long shifts, um, but we would get to take home a little um, cup of ice cream. So <laughs> needless to say, I ate a lot of ice cream and my freezer was full of my little cups of ice cream if I didn't eat it. Oh, I took it home and then I had it for another day. So hello, Susan, how are you? So yeah, it was so, that was, those were like great memories. It made some awesome, awesome friends working at Stucci's in Ann Arbor way back, way, way back in the day. So did I say hello, Susan? Hello, Diane. Thanks for joining us today. I'm so glad to have you guys hanging out with me on the Friday after Thanksgiving, right? So for our next giveaway, which like I said, will be two weeks. Yeah, how did I get off? I always get off on these tangents, right? Two weeks from today, we'll be doing our next Facebook Live because like I said, again, we're going to be in Chicago. That's how this happened, right? We're going to be in Chicago visiting my friend Stacy that I went to U of M with um, and doing a craft fair too on Sunday. Next Sunday, we're going to do a craft fair at a little school near her condo in kind of north 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 side of Chicago basically so um, yes yeah, so two weeks from today we will be doing our next Facebook live we are going to give away the these are called the matte decorative dots and you can see so they've like little teeny tiny baby ones medium all the way up to big bigger size and then in a bunch of different colors so these are part of the um, I think it's the sweet stockings suite of products um, the, the one with the like the kitty cats and the cute little puppies, um, this, these are the little gems that come in that suite of products. So anyway, we're going to give those away on our next Facebook Live. Good morning, Diana. How are you? I'm so glad to have you joining us as well. Okay, so let's see. Um, I'm like rolling through things here. We actually, this is crazy. This hasn't happened in a while, but, and I'm trying to decide what I want to do. Um, <clears throat> because I didn't have any orders last week, any online orders. So I don't, I was gonna draw for the Welcoming Woods stamp set, which is such a beautiful stamp set. So I'm not sure, maybe nobody wanted the stamp set or maybe just didn't get an order in in time. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna offer both of these stamp sets. So if you put an online order in of at least $30 between now and our next Facebook Live, which must be on, is it the 10th? Maybe Friday the 10th, I'm thinking. Um, you can, well, honestly, if I have more than one online order, I'll give them both away. So we've got this new stamp set, the Delivering Cheer stamp set, which I have seen some super cute projects made. So holiday projects and then great for birthdays too. I've seen a lot of fun where people are like stamping the skirt over designer series paper. Um, maybe I've seen some with gingham. I've seen them with like polka dots um, like for holiday time. So, so many cute fun ideas with this stamp set. And then great sentiments like sending love and Christmas cheer. There's also a to and from in that one too warming thoughts to you this season and then oh this is so cute look there's even like little leg warmers right there too and then just some fun oh my gosh like look at uh just so much fun imagery um and to color with like with your blends or like i said to even use um designer series paper and then you stamp then you just fussy cut it out and like lay it right oops there we go lay it right on top of there um so beautiful fun lots of great projects lots of great ideas out there so not just for holiday too because i've seen a bunch of birthday cards made with this stamp set also so that's what i'm going to do i have made my official decision we're going to give away both of these stamp sets on our next facebook live just a great like rolling into christmas into holiday time right let's give both of these stamp sets away so what we'll do is I will, how will I do this? And I have to remember what I said here too. 
Um, I will draw for the Delivering Cheer stamp set first. So everybody will have their name in the drawing for the Delivering Cheer stamp set. And then, so if I get one online order, I'll give this one away. If I get two online orders, the first person that I draw will get this one, and then the second person will get the Welcoming Woods. And then if I have more than two online orders, same thing. Whoever I draw first gets the Delivering Cheer, and whoever I uh, draw second gets the Welcoming Woods stamp set. So we'll give two stamp sets away on our next Facebook Live on December 10th with your online order. The host code I will give you in just a little bit when we flip the camera down. And you guys know it's always on my blog at Gathering Inc. with a K, GatheringInspiration.com. So, yeah, let's see. Um, you guys, I am, I think we're ready to like flip the camera down. I have a bunch of stuff I want to share with you. We use lots and lots of pretty paper and I think it's easier for you guys to see when I flip the camera down. So let me, I feel like I missed something. So let me just go back through and make sure, but I think maybe, oh, I know I did. I was like, oh, I feel like I did miss something. So I have been advertising that celebration continues through me, only not through Stampin' Up. You can't order and pick free celebration items, but I kind of stockpiled. I had a bunch of extra celebration items. So if you have ordered at least $50 through me, you get to pick a free $50 item. If you ordered more than $100, you can pick two free $50 items or one of those $100 items. If you need to know what I have left, let me know and I can send you my inventory of what I have at this exact moment. I do have a couple of people that have ordered at least $50 through me and they haven't let me know um, what free celebration item that they would like. So if you are one of those people that have ordered $50 through me, um, basically in all of November and I'm gonna run it through um, December 10th, right? So anyone that's ordered at least $50 through me in November through December 10th, you get to pick a free celebration item. L I have limited numbers of things left so let me know um, and I'll make sure if I have it then it's yours and if not we'll just pick find a different item for you there is additional shipping though to get those items shipped to you um, if you're long distance if you're local I'll just throw it out on the porch but if you're long distance um, like I said I'll just let you know and you can send a check or PayPal whatever's easier for you for the shipping and I try to I find the cheapest way to send um, those items also so let me know like I said if you have ordered at least $50 and you haven't let me know what celebration choice you'd like please let me know because I'd love to get those items sent out to you, okay? And again, that continues through December 10th also, okay? All right, so here we go. I am going to flip the camera down. Deb is asking if anybody else is having trouble with the live cutting in and out. So post on here, make a little comment, say yes, it's like in and out for me too, because it's either my internet or it's Deb's, and that'd be great to figure that out right now. So, okay, in the meantime, turn your heads away. We are flying through the air. Okay, good. Philomena's saying it's fine for her out in New York. Okay, all right, one moment, ladies. We're going to flip the camera down. Okay, and Kay's saying not for her either. Okay, so Deb, we'll see, but I'm feeling like maybe it might be something to do with your internet, which is a bummer. And Susan's saying she's fine too. Okay. So Deb, you might want to check into your internet connection then also. Okay. So in the meantime, grab my grid paper and I'm going to give you, we have a new host code. I do need to get it updated on my blog. And honestly, whichever host code you use, the one that's on my blog or this new one that I need to get updated, either one is fine. They both, they both will work. So the new host code is this ZV2TQP3H. And that is crooked. There we go. Now we have it straight. Okay. So again, here is our well-defined stamp set. So you can see all the fun sentiments and look at how big you guys can kind of see, see, I haven't even used them all, right? But there's the, it's backwards, right? But there's the two in the front, so you kind of get the idea of how big they are also. So for me, those are good size. I'm going to have to break those out and use those for sure this holiday season. Um, are you guys all ready for the holidays too? Do you have, like, have you made your holiday Christmas cards yet? I still have some more to make. I'm hoping to maybe get some more done this weekend. So if you haven't already ordered what you need to make your Christmas cards or treat projects, whatever you're working on, make sure you do that and use that host code and then you get all the Facebook Live freebies from me as well. So, okay, here is our first project using the winter stamp that says, when it's cold outside, but thoughts of you still keep me warm. And then, okay, so I used, I don't know, I was like, can you guys hear that? Um, I was trying to show that the other day, I remember. On, I must have used this on another Facebook Live. Anyway, this is that white velvety paper. If I get it, maybe in just... 
don't know if you can see, but it's not, it's not just, it's not just basic white. It's like a velvety white, right? And then this is some of our silver foil paper. They have three different um, silvers in there. And I'm going to attempt to show you. Let's see, we'll pull that. <laughs> so I have like little bits of paper left. I wish I had like big full sheets. I have, well, let's see, we have a couple that are a little bit bigger, right? And then there's this one. So here, you guys, but it's kind of nice because then you can see the difference in them too, okay? So here are the three different silvers. And I don't know, where is my catalog? Oh, so Lily and I started decorating for Christmas and apparently we cleaned up so well that I don't know where my holiday catalog is now. Okay, so I was going to tell you the three different silvers. For me, this is a very traditional silver. This one is like a almost like a deep gray. And then this is like a lighter, almost like a bluey gray. And that's the one that I used was this one right here. You can kind of see. So can you, you get, but look at like, ooh, aren't those gorgeous? So you get one sheet of each of these. They come in 12 by 12. So you get a big 12 by 12 of all three of those silvers in your pack of silver foil paper. Again, that's what we used on that card right there. So, and then the other, this, the snowy white velvet. I gotta show you this one too. I have a pretty big sheet of this one left also. So we can pull this one out. It's a little bit bent. I haven't been very nice to it, but okay. Can you guys hear that? <laughs> can't, you, can't you tell? Can you kind of see? The like, it's like a little bit furry almost, <laughs> but I, I love this paper. I just feel like you, maybe you can't get the full effect of it online, but it's so fun. You get two sheets of the snowy white velvet paper in that paper pack. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get started making our first card. Um, lots of good stuff. Actually, we're gonna scoot the host code. I'll scoot that back over here for now. We are in view. Okay, I'm glad you like that paper dump. <clears throat> All right, so we are gonna start with a Knight of Navy card base. Okay, so here we go. We have, there's our full sheet of Knight of Navy cardstock, right? So along the eight, or excuse me, the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches. Okay, so there's our start of our card, right? On the inside, I did some stamping and I put a piece of basic white cardstock. That measures, this is generally my standard inside four by five and a quarter inches. That goes on the inside. Then on the outside, we have a piece of basic white cardstock that measures three and three quarter by five inches. And then here's that silver foil. Again, it's a little bit almost like blue, blue silver. Um, this one measures three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. So that kind of just layers on there. So you just get that little peak of white around the outside edges, okay? And then I have, this was, this was more my snowy white velvet paper to do my die cutting and stamping and so on. And then these Knight of Navy and Basic White also for the other stamping and die cutting, okay? All right, so we don't need these guys right now. We'll scoot those up out of the way. So let's see, we will do our stamping first and then we'll do our die cutting. Okay, so we're gonna stamp on our Basic White piece, our sentiment, the winter sentiment with our Knight of Navy ink, okay? So are you guys all still in a food coma? I, I told Lily, like, I actually think I woke up still feeling full from <laughs> all my Thanksgiving feast yesterday. So I'm feeling like, okay, I need to, <laughs> I need to back off on, on the eating a little bit today. I'm sure everybody feels like that, right? Sorry, I'm trying to find my little pieces of paper. I need to get a new one of these little, I don't know why, right? You know what? We'll just stamp right on here because this is already getting a little bit messy, isn't it? So in the corner <laughs> of this piece, we are going to... Oh, did I show you? I don't think I've shown you yet. We are using the Snowflake Wishes stamp set, which is actually a carryover item from last year's holiday catalog. It's in our annual catalog. So if you need a snowflake set, this is a beautiful, great set of snowflakes. And we're going to use that little stamp right there in the corner of our, the inside of our card, okay? And I'm gonna just stamp that just like that. There we go. 
Okay. All right. Okay, I'm with those two. Okay. Let's do our die cutting. Grab my stamp and cut and emboss machine. Now I think because we have quite a few things to die cut, probably gonna have to roll this through more than once. So we're gonna put this on here. The first thing I wanna show you guys is these are the merriest frames dies. And can you see, so there's this beautiful kind of detailed die cut, and then there's this really cool rectangle with the stitching. So we're gonna just use that rectangle with the stitching, but I wanna show you because in addition to these dies, this also comes with an embossing folder, which I guess I did not bring over, but you'll get the idea when you see this card. So here, this is the same die that we're gonna use, this little rectangle stitch die. And then here is the embossing that you can do with this embossing folder that also coordinates with this die. Isn't that so cool? So what a great, that this is, maybe they're gonna be doing more of this where they include dies and a coordinating embossing folder all together. So when you order the merriest frames dies, it's actually the dies and the embossing folder, they all come together. So isn't that cool? I thought that was really fun and I wanted to share that with you. That was a card that we made at um, our simple, beautiful card class last was it last only last Friday now I'm trying to nope it was two Fridays ago I'm like that didn't seem right so okay so we are also going to we'll do the um <clears throat> our snowflakes also so from the so many snowflakes dies which coordinate with the snowflake wishes stamp set so these both came um in last year's holiday catalog but again they have carried over to this year as well so you can see here are, this is just some of the snowflakes that are in this set of dies. We've got these right here. We're gonna use a couple of these and then here are a couple of more that you could stamp and then cut the outline. So we're gonna use this one and this one on our project today. Okay, so we're gonna put one there and one there. Okay, I think that's good there. And then we'll come back and we will cut our ornaments because that's the other set of dies that I, I'm just totally loving. Sorry, it's so wiggly. Um, we're gonna come back through though. Okay, so just turn your heads away for a sec. Um, because I need to make sure these snowflakes. <laughs> Sorry, I think something's loose, clearly, right? <laughs> but okay, that one popped out really nicely, right? So there's our winter sentiment, right? And then let's see what these are gonna look like. Yep, okay, we might have to use our um, did I bring my paper piercing tool? I should have, but now I'm looking. I don't know that I did, so. Okay, that's all right. We will get these guys pulled right out after. We'll do those in a sec. Let's just leave those right there. Then we are going to do our die cutting. Mm, let's see, maybe we'll put the navy, right? So we have also one more set of dies. The, these are the delicate bobble dies. So we're gonna use these two right here. And then you can see the other dies. Actually, let's just dump those right out. So here is another beautiful ornament, right? And then we have a couple more. This one says joy, and then this one says Merry Christmas. Very hard to read because they're backwards, but beautiful detailed dies. And we're using the outline um, on this one right here too, okay? All right, so we are going to do the detail on the blue and then the background on the snowy white. Let's see. Ooh, maybe I cut that. That's just gonna fit on there. I cut that maybe a little bit smaller than I should have. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. Sorry, we're gonna get the wiggle wiggle again. I need to bring that um, ornament back through too. One more time. I usually actually go back and forth and back and forth, but I feel like you guys are probably feeling car sick right now. <laughs> so we don't want that, right, ladies. Okay, so there is that piece right there. And then let's see if this one, ooh, yes, look at this one. Can you see? Um, and I bet we're going to be able to kind of, I just um, filed my nails <laughs> yesterday. That's kind of a good thing, but kind of not when you're trying to pull things out there. So we just have a couple little pieces to pop out. Let's just get those. Okay, one more. Come on, little buddy. There. 
Yeah, if I had my my paper piercing tool, that would be helpful, right? But isn't that beautiful? And then of course it layers so nicely on our snowy white velvet paper too, right? So there you go. Okay. And okay, we're just gonna have to like clean that off. And put it right there. Save that clean up for later. Okay. All right, we can scoot this baby out of the way now. And we do need to get those snowflakes taken care of there too, don't we? So I brought what I forgot. <laughs> we'll see if this will work. Um, I forgot my little my little foam pad, but I wonder if I can do it on here too. If that'll help. Hmm, not very much, huh? Okay, so I thought I was all prepared here. I'm gonna go get my paper piercing tool real quick. I'll be right back because I think that would be helpful. Here we go. Stormy the puppy is always like, what are you running around for? Actually, he then he's like, wait a minute, is she going somewhere? I think that's more what he worries about. Like, I hope she's not going to leave me here all by myself. <laughs> the fridge makes this weird cracking noise, and it freaks him out. He's, I think he thinks there's like a ghost in the house or something. So he always comes and like runs under my feet or my chair whenever <laughs> the fridge makes that noise. So... You know, anyway, it's still working, the fridges. It just makes a weird noise every once in a while. Okay, so those are our snowflakes, right? So I think we're good. Let's put our card together now. I think I think we have everything <laughs> all ready to go now. So let's see, we need some adhesive. We're gonna grab our little silicone mat. I'm sure I'm gonna need that at some point, right? Okay, here, we're gonna bring the card back into view so that we know what we're doing. Let's put this inside piece right on the inside of our card, okay? So run it and tip it back, run it and tip it back. It's like I have to say that to myself. As much as to you guys, I have to say it to myself so that I <laughs> use it properly. Okay, we're gonna add our silver foil onto our basic white. Run it, tip it back, run it, tip it back, run it, tip it back. It does work if you really do it. Sometimes I try to go too fast and I don't tip it quite right or something. I feel like, so there's that one. Okay, one more, whoops. I must not have tipped it back quite right there. Okay, we're gonna add these babies on here. Let's put that one down at the bottom. Hmm, okay, I don't like how I did that either. I was kind of wondering if, um, I was only looking at the top, so we have to fix this. This is not good, ladies. So I'm gonna pull this off and we're gonna, I'm gonna lay it. Sometimes I have to, I think I need to have it on um, like this piece right here, which is actually really good because I've already added adhesive behind my white piece too, right? So, okay, I guess I pressed pretty firmly there. And this um, stamp and seal is a little bit, um, <clears throat> here, we'll flip this whole thing around. It is a little bit stronger than our snail was, which is why we made it. There we go, now we have our white peeking out. Okay, so the fun thing is that didn't stick. If I were to put it on that grid paper, that'd be a total mess for us, right? Okay, so we're gonna add this piece right on here, okay? Next, I think I'm gonna add this sentiment on here. Okay, so, oops. Run it, tip it back, run it, tip it back. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna add that as upside down. We do not want that, do we? Okay, so we're gonna add that one right about there. Are we in view? I'm gonna make sure all of a sudden I'm like, I don't know if I'm in view here. Then all I did was I just tried to add a little bit of adhesive like kind of on each of these points because I really don't want um, too much adhesive. Um, otherwise, you know, it gets super sticky. Um, I just want to be able to add this on. And I think it's kind of fun that those things pop up there too. So it's, I think it's great if you don't have, um, <laughs> hello, Mr. Michael, how are you? Um, if you don't have too much adhesive on there, you want to, um, you know, you just don't want it sticky all over the place. Okay, so we added our dimensionals on the back there and we are going to just kind of pop this one. 
Oops, okay, so we have to make sure. So that's one thing, I must have stamped, so you know what? Okay, we'll see, this is gonna be like another moment. Can I get this piece peeled off or not? Because I don't wanna cover up my sentiment. I was thinking when I die cut this, I'll explain in just a sec, because I can't, apparently I can't talk and like do this. So I should have um, die cut this over this way a little bit more, but I was trying to make room for my snowflakes over here, but if I, put it too far this way, then I cover up my sentiment and I wanna be able to still be able to see everything. So I think if we go just about like that, we're gonna be all right, right? Okay, so then we're gonna add our snowflakes. Just a little bit of adhesive again, right in the middle is all I wanna do, because I just don't want that kind of popping out um, too sticky, I guess, basically. I don't want it too sticky all over the place, right? So, all right, we a last um, couple of little details here. We are gonna add, this is some of the Simply Elegant trim. So this is trim that is from our annual catalog that comes in gold and silver. I love this sort of um, twine trim, like for um, gift tags on holiday projects. So I'm definitely gonna be ordering more of this elegant trim to package up all of my Christmas presents this year, right? I'm like, okay, I gotta, now I'm like, I feel like I'm already behind. Like, okay, we gotta get moving. I gotta order this stuff ASAP so that I am all prepared and ready to go to um, package up all my holiday gifts. Okay, so just tie that in a little bow and then we're going to just kinda, did I, I think I I think I got a glue dot. Now I'm like, it's coming apart, which makes me think um, I thought I had a glue dot on there. Let's try that again, ladies. Oh yeah, it's still right there. Okay, so there we go. Now I think I have my glue dot. Now it will stick down there, right? Did I get it? <laughs> okay, um, this is a little moment here. We're gonna do this one more time. Okay, so apparently I trimmed my fingernails down a little bit too. <laughs> There we go. Okay, we got it now. Hello, Miss Jamie, how are you doing? I hope you had a good Thanksgiving. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of that. And what do we need? We need our holiday rhinestones and they are right here. Okay, so you guys have seen these, right? They come in kind of a navy blue. This is probably a pool party. I'm gonna call that garden green, cherry cobbler. And I think that this is pumpkin pie, but these are kind of orange, but I think you can kind of make them yellow sometimes too. So we are gonna add a few of these. I'm gonna grab my little take your pick tool. I forgot about this. And actually what was kind of funny was um, with OnStage, we got to see a bunch of videos um, with new product from our next mini catalog. And everyone was using the take your pick tool. And I'm like, I, I remember we have this little spatula thing because I've been trying to use my paper snips and they haven't been working as well as I would like them to. So I'm like, you know what? I need to grab my little take your pick tool because like I said, they kept using it like so much um, when we were watching all of our onstage videos. So, okay. So I think, hopefully I'm showing that this is a little bit easier to work with. Hi, Lily. <laughs> she um, didn't want to pass by earlier because she slept in today, so. Um, she was like, oh, no, mom, definitely don't want to be on your Facebook Live video today. Okay, actually, I need two more. We're going to add, sorry, I'm feeling like a little flaky today. Um, come on, come on. So this is supposed to be really helpful. Are you and Stormy heading out? <laughs> You're going to pressure me? <laughs> if only you could have Stormy say hi, right? Um, but yeah, we don't really want him on the table. That would be a bad thing. <laughs> you, there's his paw. <laughs> He's like about like right next to me, like, okay, I'll give you a kiss, mom. He, he didn't realize what Lily was even doing with his paw. So thank you, Jamie. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. So, okay. Card number one. Okay. So, all right. Okay. You'll be back. Okay. Thanks, Lil. Bye. Okay. I'm going to try to get super focused now, ladies. Like I said, I feel a little flaky here. Okay. So card number one with that fun sentiment, winter when it's cold outside, but thoughts of you still keep me warm. Okay. 
card number one now let's see card number two so i went with i love like the gold and silver idea so this one so we did silver last time so this one i did golds and isn't that beautiful so i'm going to share with you how we made those fun little trees right and then we've got this sentiment christmas the time of year where the presence of family is better than the presence from family isn't that a beautiful sentiment? And then we use some of the brush metallic dots. These guys were on back order for so long, I didn't want to show them, but they are available now. And I believe they are carrying over. That's something else I should mention is, um, I don't know if Stampin' Up's like officially announced it, but I found it on our website, the list of products that are retiring from our July to December mini catalog. So make sure that there's so much. I mean, they always do that with our mini catalog. So many, many, many things retire. I believe the well-defined stamp set will be retiring. So if that's something that you're interested in, make sure you get that as soon as you can so you don't miss out on getting that stamp set. And I'll be um, sharing that link too with everything that's retiring um, so that you make sure you get what you want before it sells out, right? Okay. All right. So let's see. I've got lots of things to share with you guys here too. Let's start. I kind of just started flinging things all over the place too. Oh boy. Okay. <clears throat> I think we're good though. So we will start. I've got these pieces here. So let me tell you about the sizes of things, right? So again, we have our, well, hello, Linda. <laughs> Thank you. I thought so too, that white with just the pop of gold on there. Yes, very elegant. I agree. Okay, so this is thick, basic white cardstock, okay? So along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches, okay? Um, then we added a layer of basic white cardstock, okay? This one is that standard four by five and a quarter inches, and we're gonna pop that up on dimensional so that it kind of, can you guys kind of see that? It just gives a little bit more dimension to the card. And then we have, oh, did I not bring, did I bring it over or not bring it over? We have, I guess I didn't bring it over, but this, I've used this a number of times. This is a gold foil paper that is in our annual catalog, and it also comes in rose gold. So it's six by six pieces. So this one is six inches. So this is a one by six. So if you can imagine six by six pieces in gold foil and rose gold foil. Then I also used some of our brushed metallic cardstock, and I'll share that with you let's see if i can get this this one i think you get yeah six sheets i think i probably do have um full sheets of this let's see in the three different colors i do okay so here these are the brushed metallic foil cardstock papers Woo! isn't that awesome right so i'm sure that's oh gosh well, there's gold, copper, and bronze. You guys tell me <laughs> which is which. This, I think, is going to be gold. And then is that bronze and that's copper, I think? I feel like that's probably it. Gold, bronze, copper. But isn't that beautiful? Ooh, gorgeous paper, isn't it? Okay, and then you get two sheets of each of that. That's why I still have a full sheet of each of those. The other silver, you only get one sheet of each, and I've used that a bunch, obviously. So, okay, so we're going to die cut our trees with um, this foil paper. You know what I meant to do, and I flaked out on that, because we have to die cut a few of these trees. All right, so we might just have to do that a couple times, so that'll be all right. Let's do our stamping. We're going to do our sentiment, because you guys know I love the embossing. This time of year, I always have to pull out my heat tool and do some fun embossing, so we are going to do that right now. Okay, so I've got my gold embossing powder. Let's scoot this guy out of the way, right? I like to use the little Ziploc Tupperware containers. I think those are the easiest for me to use. Then I have my Versamark ink, and we're going to use our Christmas stamp set. So I'm going to ink this up pretty well, but I do want to be careful not to get Versamark ink around the edge because you don't want a ring like around your sentiment, right? But I'm going to press firmly 
because it's little writing, you know, and I want to make sure that it all shows up. And you have no idea right now whether you stamped it well or not, but we're going to pour our embossing powder over top and see. All right, good. Just kind of tap that off. Okay. There, I was just trying to make sure I didn't have anywhere, anywhere I didn't want it. Because what's funny is it's so faint right now, but then when you heat it up, it really like pops up. But I think that looks good right there. All right, we're going to just pop that. So, and I always just kind of label with what the name of it is. So I got my gold embossing powder there. So I don't get mixed up on things because you know how that can happen. Okay. Oops. Certainly when I picked that up. Oh, you know what I should have done. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> I should have grabbed an extension cord. I don't think you guys are going to be able to see this. Sorry. So I set this up a couple days ago. <laughs> and I, um, cause I was, I didn't want to be working on Thanksgiving day. And so this was one of the things I set it up late at night. And I didn't even think about that. Um, the cord wasn't long enough for you guys to be able to see. But you guys know how to do the embossing, right? It's going to be this amazing moment of where it was all just um, kind of powdery and then it just, woo, like magically turns into gold, sparkly, embossed beautifulness. Okay, I think I'm almost done. My fingers feel like it's got to be done, but because the bummer is when you think it's done and you wipe your finger across it and it's not really done. So let's see. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Flaky. <laughs> there we go. Isn't that beautiful, though? So all I did, just heat tool over it. And when you see it kind of crystallize and turn that, ooh, that sparkly gold, you know you're all set. So plus the other reason was I wanted to do this and just kind of set it aside so it can cool down before we die cut around it. So I'm just going to put that right there. And OK, so now let me show you where these dyes come from, OK? Um, here we go. Oh, I did. I, say, I thought I had this paper. I laid a bunch of other paper on top. So here's my rose gold. You can see I've done a bunch of those little border punches. So there's your rose gold and your gold. Isn't that, that's beautiful paper. I knew I had it. Okay, so we are going to use the Christmas tree dies. I have loved this stamp set and die set, right? So these are all of the trees that come in that set of dies. And then we're gonna actually use those two cute little, they're like kind of skinny mini ones, right? Okay, we are gonna have to do this a couple of times though. So this is one of those things that I truly was like, oh, I really need to make a, or you know, die cut a couple of these so I don't have to do all five of them. But, and then you probably ought to. <laughs> Okay, just for your entertainment, ladies, right? Probably ought to take the top um, piece off. <laughs> there we go, okay. This might just take a moment. I'm trying to remember how well these things um, pop out, but I have my paper piercing tool now at least, right? So that will be helpful, but good. Okay, so that pops right out. So we need and that one pops. Okay, so look at how cute these are. Okay, let's see if I can get this. Ah, there we go. Okay, so here. Can you guys see? Look at how cute that little. So this is with the gold foil from the brushed metallic cardstock. Okay, so we're going to do one more of these little babies. Actually, we'll turn it this way just in case it becomes a problem. And then this one, we're going to pop that guy out. So we need two more of each of these and then one more still but this is working out all right isn't it yes it is a beautiful die set isn't it deb <clears throat> so how's everybody feeling after thanksgiving are you guys still full too do you have lots of leftovers that's like the favorite part right is the hot turkey sandwiches for days afterwards <laughs> and my favorite is um butternut squash 
And so the secret is you have to put a whole bunch of <laughs> butter and sugar in your butternut squash. So then it's like kind of like a sweet treat on your plate. <laughs> and um, so the, the bummer was though that um, when Lily and I, we finally went to the store, I think it was like Tuesday night this week. Um, at first, I didn't think there was any butternut squash. And then we found literally the last two butternut squash in the whole store, and they were tiny. They were not very big at all. So we had a very small um, serving of the butternut squash yesterday, but we still managed to have a little bit left over for, for leftovers, too. So that's always fun. Oh, actually, we've got to do one more. So... The last one, we're going to die cut our sentiment. See, I get sidetracked. <laughs> wow, so cool, Deb says. Thanks, Deb. I appreciate that. So from the Hippo and Friends dies, we're going to use this baby right here. I'll show you. So love these. So they've got the Hippos and Friends, right? And then they've got all these awesome label dies that come in here too. So that's that. So there's three different sizes in each of those. Actually, there are four different in that one. Lots and lots of great label dyes in there too. So even if you don't need the hippos or the hippo friends, you probably need all these labels. So there we go. We're gonna do that one right there. Okay, and it puts stitching around the edges of this one too. So you gotta love that, right? We all love all of these stitched dyes, right? Okay, here we go. So there, can you guys see the little stitching around the edges? It's a beautiful, isn't it? Okay. <clears throat> I think we are ready to put our card together now. So let's see. We are going to put some dimensionals on the back of this. We'll just do that real quick while we add, I think, okay, that's Christmas up there. I was very kind of intentional in putting these up higher because I don't like it when my dimensional sticks to my ribbon. So I wanted them to be up here so that they weren't sticking to my ribbon, if that makes sense. Hopefully it does, right? Okay, so we got one, two. <laughs> no fingernails. Three, four, five. Okay, there we go. So we are going to add some adhesive to the back of each of our trees. Oops, I think that'll be okay though, right? That guy just doesn't want to He's like the misbehaving kid, right? He doesn't want to stay where he's supposed to. He really doesn't. Okay, I want to put a teeny tiny little bit of adhesive on the bottom of each of these because they were kind of popping up off my card. But again, make sure you use your silicone mat here because then it makes it so easy. Okay, so we need, we're gonna put like one, Maybe right about there. Can you guys see what I'm doing, right? And then we've got, we're gonna layer one more up on top a little bit. Okay, and then we've got, so these are a little bit fatter trees, a tiny bit, right? And then we've got our tall skinny, and then our little bit wider, one more of those. So kind of all different heights, I like to make those, right? Next, we are going to tie our ribbon. This is the Fine Art Ribbon, right? Yes, Fine Art Ribbon. So we're gonna tie our bow around here. Let's make sure we have enough. Okay, so we're gonna tie our bow around this piece. And let's move that over there. Sometimes that makes it a little bit easier to make our bow, right? And mm, I think I want a little bit, I need a little bit more. So we'll just move that around the card in a moment after we get our pretty bow tied here. Okay, so this ribbon is beautiful. You have to be, um, I think with the kind of gold in it, it makes it a little bit harder to kind of make, not make bows, but just kind of get it exactly how you want. But we will get that where we want in a second. I'm gonna trim that off and scoot that out of the way. And we'll kind of flip that down there, right? Okay, so that, that will be good. Next, I want to add Sorry, I keep kind of playing with that. 
And normally I don't tack down my ribbon, but this one I am going to because it is almost a little bit longer than I want. So I'm gonna kind of do that and squinch it up right there to tighten it up. But you will never know because we're gonna put our um, other, our sentiment right over top there. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna add our dimensionals. I wanna add a bunch of these here because we don't want it kind of getting waffly on us later. Okay, so we're gonna peel all of these backings off. I think I got that one, yep. Okay, <clears throat> we're gonna add this piece to our card front. Okay, you see how that kind of pops right up there, right? Then we are gonna add our sentiment and the final touch. Yes, the silicone mat is great to work with, isn't it, Philomena? It makes it very easy. So there, Christmas, the time of year when the presence of family is better than the presence from family. We're gonna finish it off. You guys know me and my bling, right? So we've got the brushed metallic adhesive back dots. They come in, what do you guys think? I don't know. <laughs> is this again like gold, bronze, and I don't know. That's not, is that copper? We have to look in the catalog, which I can't find right now. It's it's somewhere. <laughs> the house is kind of decorated. Lily and I have this thing where we like to watch um, the uh, the Thanksgiving Day parades in the morning. So after we get our kind of cooking started, then we will pull out the Christmas decorations and watch the um, Thanksgiving Day parades and decorate for Christmas. So we're pretty well decorated. We still have to do the tree, which I think we'll do this weekend. So. Oh, we better just trim that off a little bit because that's kind of fuzzy there, right? So there we go. There is card number two, the beautiful golds and then the beautiful silvers as well, right? Okay, so we did it, ladies. Here we go. Let's do our quick recap that I always love to make sure everybody knows what's going on. So we have got our new host code, right? The... ZV2TPQ3H. Did I do that right? ZV2TQP3H. I think I did it right. <laughs> anyway, so if you order at least $30 through me using this host code, you're going to get one of each of these projects as a thank you from me. If you bump your order up to $50, you also get to pick from a free embellishment or the PDF tutorial, the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial, and you also get to pick a free celebration choice through me also. In addition, we're gonna give away both of these stamp set with at least two online orders. One of each of you is gonna get the Delivering Cheer or the Welcoming Woods stamp set. So thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you have a great Friday after Thanksgiving. Hopefully you guys get to rest and relax this weekend and just kind of enjoy your time uh, with your friends and family, right? So thanks everybody, have a great weekend. We'll see you back here two weeks from today. All right, bye.